우리 다성이는 완전 예술가지 질인데 무슨 편지를 그린 거죠? 자화상이에요 What's up, everybody? I'm Rick. And I'm Anna. And welcome to our bucket list channel, a channel in which we try to realize the goals and dreams that are on our bucket list. Uh, today, we're going to be working on one of those goals, which is to watch every movie that was nominated at the Academy Award from 1927 to 2028. Uh, we started this whole goal by watching like old movies from uh, the 20s and the 30s, but now we're taking a little detour to watch the current nominee for this year's because they were just announced yes and new movies <laughs> yes so we're watching those uh, we've already watched marriage story there's a video on that if you want to go see it and now we're going to talk about the movie that we watched in the theater uh, yesterday parasite for those of you who don't know the first part of this discussion slash review is going to be spoiler free and the second part we're going to dive deeper into some of the spoiler field element that we found interesting in the movie um, this is not a retelling of the whole movie it's just us talking about what we liked and disliked um, but there's another part before that which is a little bit of general information about this movie that we saw Parasite movie that came out in May 2019 in uh, South Korea. South Korean movie, for those of you who don't know, uh, subtitled in English is how we saw it. We don't understand uh, Korean. No. <laughs> uh, it is uh, produced by uh, Barun Son ENA, which uh, I am not familiar with. I suppose it's a Korean production company. Uh, one thing that I found interesting by looking up uh, facts about the movie is that the house... Uh, when I say the house, you know what I'm talking about. We're not yeah. spo spoiling anything. Uh, the house was not a real house. It was built uh, for the movie, the set. You know? And uh, okay. a, a lot of attention was placed on like the position of the sun and like the windows. Oh, and... that's good because it looks good in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's important. And the director was saying that like, it was very difficult because he's not an architect, but... Uh, he knew what he wanted. Yeah, to and get. the house had to look like it was made by an architect. And, you know, when you look at it, it seems like they just went to a real house and yeah, filmed there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does, really. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, I've been talking about the director. Directed by... And so sorry to all the Korean people or people who speak Korean here. There is a bunch of names. I will, like butcher most of them um i'll try my best though directed by uh, bong joon ho okay, okay who wrote produced and directed the movie so it was all him his idea his Mostly, whole project I mean, there are other people working on it but he had a heavy hand in it um some of the main actors there's a lot of important actors here i couldn't just pick the three or four like i usually do so i'm gonna go like through uh some of them, but excluding uh, others. Uh, so Song Kang Ho, who's uh, the father of the Kim family. Okay. Uh, Choi Hu Shik, who's the son of the Kim family. Chang Ya Jin, who's the mother of the King family. Okay. Park So Dam, who's the daughter. All right. Yeah. And so this movie, the main characters are from the two families mm -hmm. so yes. now we're gonna move to the park family uh, Lee Soon Kyun who's the father of the park family Cho Yeo Jong who's the mother of the park family All right. I'm excluding the two kids because they have a bit of a lesser role but I wanted to mention uh, the housekeeper All right yes uh, Lee Jong Hoon uh, who I thought did a very good job uh, yes I would say so too, and her had an important role. Yeah. So, other fact about the movie, it world premiered at uh, the Cannes Festival in 2019, and uh, it won there the Palme d'Or, so the most prestigious uh, prize, and 
it was the first Korean movie to do so, but also only the second movie to win with unanimous vote. Oh, wow, that's a big thing. Yeah. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. First one was 2013's uh, Blue is the Warmest Color, which is a movie we've also seen. Oh, we've seen seen this one, Yeah. yeah. Uh, it grossed 136 million uh, worldwide at the moment of speaking, uh, which makes it the director's uh, Bong's highest grossing movie ever and the third highest grossing movie in South Korea. Wow, that's those are big numbers for yeah. them and I can definitely tell why. Mm-hmm. It was uh, nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Picture, of course. That's why we're watching it and discussing it. Uh, Best Director for uh, Bong Joon-hoon. Uh, best Original Screenplay, again, for uh, Jun ho I've said Jun ho right before. So, best Director for Bong Jun ho Best Original Screenplay, again, for him. Uh, best International Feature Film. Uh, best Production Design. And Best Film Editing. Okay, so now let's get into our discussion uh, first of all, without spoiling anything about the movie, what did you think of it? Well, I was definitely impressed. Uh, it's a very interesting movie to watch because I feel like from the beginning, it kind of gave me a certain feeling. And then as it went on, it escalated and it changed into something else, something like much deeper and darker. Like, in the beginning, it feels like it's just this slightly comical, but also difficult situation. But it doesn't seem to be, like, that deep and that that dark. That just comes, to, like, towards the the end or, like, the second half of the movie. And it escalates to that. You think? Like, I totally agree that the movie takes a turn at some point and uh, in a direction that you wouldn't have expected. But I think it was al- already deep from the beginning. It was deep in the sense that you could tell it has a message, you know, that it has a, that it has like a, it, it that it treats a very big social issue that you could get from the beginning. But it seemed much more like lighthearted. You think? I thought there was the, the a lot of layers, the... like, because... Yeah, uh, but that's what I'm saying, like, the layers came... Yeah, but I mean, even in that sense, like, we discussed it uh, a little bit after seeing the movie, but... Uh, I remember at at that first part, which uh, you said was more lighthearted, I remember laughing at one joke and then stopping myself right away and thinking, no, actually, if I take a step back, this is not funny. Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing. Like, you could tell they're treating, like, very serious issues, mm. but it had that, like, feeling to it of, like, that it's slightly comical. But, yeah, like you said, like, it's not something that you shouldn't laugh at, but it's made in that way. It's made, like... To give you this like more light feeling, which completely goes away towards the end of the movie, where like everything is just so deep and dark, and like you can't like you're shocked. I was shocked watching it. Yeah, it's definitely a movie that knows uh, how to escalate, how yeah, to raise how to the build tension, up. Yeah. the build up. Uh, you're on the edge of your seat for most of the second half of the movie, and every. Every scene seems to like want to up the previous one and you're like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? And so, yeah, that was definitely a memorable movie. Yes. To yes, say I would say, I would say that. Yeah. That is true for me too. And a movie that I felt like uh, was uh, in the vein of uh, something else that we saw um, last year, which was uh, a Shoplifter. Yes. So for those of you who are family with Shoplifter, it gave me that same kind of feeling, uh, you know, a movie with like a social message, but also a certain unease the whole time you're watching it. Yes, but see, that's what I'm what I'm saying. Like, for example, in Shoplifters, like throughout from the beginning of the movie, there's nothing lighthearted about it. Mm. Like everything is has like the same, you know, kind of feeling hanging over it. Yeah. Whereas in this one, the beginning doesn't seem that, like, strong. Or not that strong, because it's a, it's, it's a strong movie through and through, but it doesn't seem, like, that heavy. Mm. 
but it gets like that further on, which I really enjoyed. Like it's it's nice to watch a movie like that. Yeah. Well, definitely, they make the characters themselves make jokes at the beginning. Yeah, exactly. And by the end, there there is no joke to be made at any point. Yeah. So yeah. Would you recommend this movie? Oh yes, I would definitely recommend this movie. I would say, like, just go and watch it. It's something so different and so like it's fresh and it's new. To me, it felt like that. Um, the story is great. The build up is great. The actors are just amazing, and this kind of attention to details, like what you mentioned about the house, it really pays off. You feel it in the movie. I didn't know that, but when you told me, it made total sense. And I think it's it's a great movie that you should you should definitely watch. Yeah, I will definitely echo most of what you said. This is a must watch. You know, some people might be turned off a little bit by the fact that it's a subtitled, unless you understand Korean, of course. Uh, but no, like, just go uh, watch it. You will not regret it. When I'm telling you I was on the edge of my seat the whole time, I'm not even kidding. I was in a theater like, oh my God, what is going to happen next? <laughs> and it's very hard to predict what's going to happen next because it takes turns and turns. Uh, yeah, this is a, a fantastic movie and you should go watch it. And now we're going to get into more of a spoiler field uh, discussion. So if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to be spoiled, I invite you to leave. Uh, like the video before you go, but then leave <laughs> and come back uh, next time. For those of you who don't mind getting spoiled or who have uh, already seen the movie, let's get into it. So. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, this is a difficult one. Where is yeah, starting? I don't even know where to start exactly. Because yeah. usually we kind of know what's the, that scene that we wanted well, we want to know, talk about. I know. So let's go right there. Right to the moment which to me transforms the movie. Makes it pivot uh, when the housekeeper comes back. Yes. Again, I thought it was already pretty deep and dark. I think it's just now it was reflected and the action that was happening because we discovered that uh, the housekeeper was keeping her husband uh hidden in the basement yes a basement that the the owners the park family didn't even know it existed yeah uh, she was uh feeding him in secret and now she came back to get him because she got fired a couple of days ago and had to leave him there oh it was more than a couple of days yeah. it was i think a couple of weeks actually yeah. And from that point on, everything starts unraveling for the the Kim family, who had this old plan to, you know, just get a job. You know, they are yeah. in a precarious situation. They want money. They see this rich family that they can exploit. So they each get jobs uh, with the family. Once the housekeeper come back, comes back to get her husband, everything unravels. And like, I gotta ask you, what what were you feeling? When those scenes like piled up, you know, like the the fights and the murders and the like. Ah, oh, yeah. Like I, I was like, because that's when it starts, right? Like they start fighting there. Then they fight some more upstairs in the house. Yeah. And as all of those things keep happening, keep happening, I'm like, oh my god, like no, stop! Like what's happening? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Like don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't kill someone, please. But then, you know, they go ahead and they do it. Yeah. And I swear I had a feeling because it was raining, right? Yeah. It was like a heavy rain. And I was thinking because the family, the Park family was away for the weekend uh, On camping. On a camping trip. And I was thinking, it's raining. They're going to come back from the camping trip. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, they did. And I felt it. I felt it coming. And it was like so my my heart was like so like you know, small and, and tight. And I was like, they're going to come back. Oh my God, they're going to come back. Like I knew that it was going to happen. Yeah. And it happened. Yeah. And that's like, even it, it adds up to the, the tension and everything mm -hmm. else. But uh, I feel like, you know, the movie serves obviously a strong uh, social message. And uh, I want to dive maybe a bit deeper into that. Uh, because at the end, uh, the Kim father kills the the park father yes. and a burst of anger because uh, of uh, not only his daughter and his son 
seemingly being murdered, but also like this anger that had been built up inside of him every time someone would mention that you know they stinks. Yeah. You know, or him particularly. They were stink. yeah. They were talking about him in particular a yeah. few times. The the smell of like poor people. Yeah. People who take the subway. People who you know, and these kind of situation, and. What did you think of that? Because I never thought throughout the movie that the Park family was necessarily bad. But at the same time, they get this... Like, they, that way about them of judging, uh, like, less uh, fortunate people that is... Uh, yeah, you definitely see it. Mm -hmm. Not in, the, in a sense that they're, like, not even aware of it, probably. Because they can't even, like... Put their finger on it. Like, they don't specifically say, oh, they smell because they're poor. Mm -hmm. They're just like, you know, that smell, you feel it? Like, kind yeah. of like the people who take the subway, they, they don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just that they... Which makes me think, like, like, this is such an intangible that the smell is probably not even, like... Real. A, a real thing. Yeah. It's more of a... It's their perception of it. Yeah, exactly. Because the father also, like, smells himself several times yeah, to try exactly. to see, like, what's, like, what's, what's, what's happening. Wrong, yeah. yeah. And the the family, the Kim family, even talks about it amongst themselves. Like, is it our soap? Is it uh, the laundry yeah. that we do? Like, what's the problem? Is it the house that we live in? And I don't think it's any of those things. I think it's just, like, the perception of rich people towards the, the poorer. Like, oh, they have this smell. They have this air about them. Yeah, exactly. You know? that's, that's exactly how it feels. Mm -hmm. And what I like about that, that uh, like, build-up in particular of the, of the Kim family, uh, father mm. is that at first when it is mentioned that the issue about the smell you don't even like it seems like it's something that just comes and goes mm. you see you see that he's annoyed but yeah then he's annoyed away. but then it goes away but then it's repeated again yeah. and again and again and every time it's repeated he's like even more it's like bothered by it mm -hmm. like it's it's on his mind yeah. it becomes an issue a permanent issue yeah but i brought that up to ask like the, the park family uh never struck struck me as like bad people per se even though they were saying these things which are definitely bad things to be saying like but they were not like oh we're evil rich people and these yeah. uh, poor uh we're just gonna kick out our housekeeper and kick out our uh, driver like, the housekeeper, they felt bad about it. You know, yeah. the driver, they felt bad about it. Yeah. The father is always playing with the son. The mother wants the best for both of her kids. Yeah. And yet still, they're, they are despicable in that sense and the way that they treat uh, people who are less fortunate than them. I think, like, what I would... And so what word I would use to describe them is that they're ignorant. Yeah. Like, they're even ignorant of their ignorance. Mm. It's a very gray area yeah. that both family lives in. Uh, because the Kim family is not like void of uh, default either. Yeah, like they're they are full of uh, wrongdoings throughout the movie. Right, even even from the beginning. Yeah. Like... And so, like it's this gray area that both families see themselves in, and this is really a class warfare type of uh, movie. Yes. Because these two, uh, these two groups, like they don't understand each other. Yeah, you, know. it's, you can definitely tell that they come from two different worlds. Yeah. And they just, like, mingle together. Mm -hmm. um, and to to an extent where, like, you were saying before, like, they're even oblivious to their own perception of the others and how it is skewed. Like, when they think that the driver is sleeping with a woman who takes coke... They're outraged, you know, like, oh, oh yeah. a, pe a woman from the street who takes cocaine. Oh, don't talk about it out loud. You know, someone might hear us. But later in the movie, oh. uh, you know, when they're having sex, the rich lady, she's screaming like, oh, buy me drugs, buy me drugs. You yeah, know? exactly. And so they don't make that. that and kind of even in the same scene, he asks her, like, is this like it, like when we did it in the back of the of, in the back seat of, a, of the car? That, that's like doing it in the back seat of oh, a car. Yeah, and he says, like go take that dirty... Uh, Lingerie, lingerie that, from oh, the yeah. poor girl, and uh, that'll make me very excited, you know. Like, yeah, like they're the, they're oblivious to their own uh, prejudice, you know. Exactly. That's uh, very interesting. Um, 
Something that we should definitely talk about before uh, we end this conversation, because we could go on about this movie for hours, <laughs> uh, is the ending. And so at the end, uh, so the father kills the the Kim father kills the park fa father, escapes, hide in the basement. Uh, no one can find him. And some point later, the son figure out that his dad is in the basement, and promise to make a plan to go uh, buy the house. Buy the house once he makes enough money and free his dad, basically. Yes. Um, then we see some kind of uh, imagery of him doing that. Mm. And we come back to him writing the letter about the plan. Right, in his and, basement hall. Yeah, and the movie ends. Yes. So it's left an, a little bit uh, an ambiguity. Like, did he do it or was this just like him visualizing it? Or what do you think? That's hard to tell. because Mostly because the scene mm. where they show him buying the house is quite specific. It doesn't look like necessarily like a dream like the lady is talking to him she's telling him something um you know he goes looks around his mother is there later on but if i just had to guess i would say that no it probably doesn't happen yeah i don't think it happens either and uh, one of the element that makes me think so the most is that the kim son had a discussion with his father Earlier in the movie where his dad was saying, like, never make plans. Plans will never work out in the end. Life will throw you, throw a rock uh, on the road and, like, make you diverge from whatever plan you made. So just, like... Just go with it. Just go with it. And if everything goes wrong, then... That's life. <laughs> that's life. Exactly. And so... I feel like him making a plan... Is him not understanding? Because that's how uh, most of the horrible stuff also happens at the end. Is his dad say, I don't have a plan. Just let it be. Those people that we locked up in the basement, let it be. Like, like let them there. We're the, the only the, ones who know. Well, he doesn't say that specifically. He just says there. But yeah, this, this was a wild ride of a movie. If you have not seen it, go see it. We could only touch... Uh, so many, so much in such a short amount of time. You, like I said, we could be talking here for an hour about this movie. Uh, yeah, go see it. Yep, definitely go mm -hmm. see it. Um, Unless we spoiled you now. I mean, still go see it. Yeah, <laughs> no, it doesn't matter if you know. Like, I feel like the tension, like the movie does a good enough job of building the tension that you will feel it even if you know what's going to yeah. happen. Um, so yeah. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see us talk more about uh, these movies that we're watching and other videos that we do on this channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever our next video drops in. Have a nice day.